Hi, my friends, it's Dr. Edith Ubuntu Chan. I'm a holistic high performance coach and a Chinese medicine doctor. Here with another episode of Activate Your Awesomeness. All right, today I'd really like to talk with you about the perfect diet, the perfect foods that a human being should eat for optimal health. There's so many diet books out there. It's just like this diet and that diet, the paleo diet, the vegan diet, the, the Atkins diet, the zone diets, and all these different 30, 40, 60, 100 million, all these different kinds of diet fats, they come and go. And when you start to hear about it, you just pull hair out of your head with confusion. Just what am I supposed to eat and not eat? Well, I'm here to clear that all up once and for all and demystify for you how to figure out your perfect diet. And it's really simple. Within your body, it's the best diet plan that there is on the planet for you. Every human being on the planet is different. So if we follow rigid plans that somebody else told us to follow, yeah, we can reference those ideas but the most important is that we follow our own body's intuitive guidance. And so I'm going to simplify it way down with just some general rule of thumb that you can follow. Number one, a healthy diet for you should be fun to eat. You should enjoy it because food is about enjoyment and tastiness and fun and joy. Please, let's bring back the fun with our eating. So many of us stress out so much about what we eat, what we shouldn't eat, that we took the fun away. So please, number one priority is to bring back the fun. Number two is that it should not only taste good, but when you eat it, it feels good in your body. And not just while you're eating it, but afterwards. So does it give you sustained energy or does it make you all high and then you tank? For example, when we eat too much sugar, that happens. We get the sugar high and then the insulin comes to meet the sugar and boom, we have a sugar crash and we feel like crap afterwards. So a healthy diet should give us healthy, feel good, sustained energy. That is the key. And number three, a healthy diet should consist of foods that give us good energy and not cause any problem. For example, obviously if you're allergic to something, you shouldn't be eating it. But sometimes it's more subtle than that. If we eat it, we feel okay at first, and then there's a delayed effect of like a food coma because that, that food that you just ate was zapping your energy instead of giving you energy. So basically just those three simple rules. Food should be fun and tasty. Food should give you healthy, sustained levels of energy and your food should not cause any problems for you. So if you follow those three rules of thumb, then you're in really good shape. The thing is that it can sometimes take a little bit of experimentation to figure that out. And so I always encourage folks to periodically do a juice cleanse. After you cleanse yourself, then gradually reintroduce various foods and see how it feels in your body. Does it taste good? Because after a cleanse, your sense of smell and taste is heightened. Does it give you sustained energy? After a cleanse, that feeling is also more clarified. And does it cause problems for you? Because you've taken a break from certain foods, when you reintroduce it, you're gonna know how your body responds to it. In addition to that, consider the fact that as you go through different phases of your life, with different demands on your physiology and your mind, the perfect nutrition is gonna change. Women with different weeks of your menstrual cycle, the perfect nutrition may change. And all of us, as we go through the, the maturity process at different phases of our life, you might notice that your body is requesting different nutrition over time. So, those three rules are never going to fail you. Regardless of the trends that come and go, make sure your food tastes really good, gives you steady, sustained energy, and don't cause trouble for you. 
and in a future episode, we're gonna break that down into individual common food items so that I can give you more information based on the thousands and thousands of cases of patients that I've supported, and you can take advantage of it and experiment within your own lives. I hope this has served you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey everybody, it's Dr. E. Did you like that video? If you did, please hit like and share with all your friends. You can also go onto our website and subscribe to our e-newsletter for free training and nuggets of awesomeness that we only share on our newsletter. Together, let's turn your life into a brilliant masterpiece.